This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. So let's just go through and add to the notes a little illustration about your net borrowing costs. So what do we mean by net borrowing costs? Well, remember, uh, your borrowing costs net of income received from the investment of money borrowed uh, will be capitalised over the period of construction. So this is where we're focusing on, if you like this, net of income received. Because what you've got here within this scenario is that you've got this company, Ecuador, uh, loan facility of $300 million, uh, and which interest is charged at 6%. So if you use any of that $300 million to construct an asset, you can capitalise it at 6%. However, if that money that you then borrow is invested, so you might borrow a large amount so it's readily available uh, and invest some of it to earn some income to reduce the overall cost of borrowing, then you're going to be able to then net that investment income off any interest that is being capitalised. Okay, uh, And what you've got there is we capitalise interest on the borrowings at 6% and we can net it off at 4% on what has been invested. Okay, What you borrow might not be the same as what you invest. And within this question, there's quite a lot of dates going on. Uh, you can see that on the 1st of March 2018, uh, we borrowed 100 million uh, to construct a new indoor velodrome. And of that, 20 million was invested immediately. Okay. Uh, and we have, is it the a 30th of June? 2018 reporting day. So let's just draw it out visually. Uh, so what we've got there is the 1st of March 2018 and then our reporting date is the, the 30th of June 2018. And we've had, is it some borrowings over that period, so March, April, May, June, four months, okay? There we go, excellent. And what we've gone through and done is leave yourself a little bit of space. Is that we've borrowed 100 million, is it there at 6%? Uh, just note, however, we have also of that 100 million we have invested 20 million and that will get us interest income at four percent now you've got to be careful though because you think you're going to capitalize it for the four months read on things happen don't they uh so what you've got there on the first of may 2018 construction stopped due to strike action but restarted on the 1st of June 2018. So what you've got is somewhere within the middle. Is it the for one month? So is that there from the 1st of May to the 31st of May? There's been strike action. If there's strike action, we don't capitalise. The borrowing costs and likewise we can't net off the investment income so what you've got is here four months less than one month effectively what we're going to do is we're going to capitalize it for three months and net off the borrowings for three months so if we tap that into our calculator again like in the exam let's work in thousands if you tap 100 million multiplied by 6%, multiplied by 3 twelfths, I think it gives you, is it 1.5 million? So that's 1,500. Uh, 20 million at 4% times 3 twelfths, I think is that 200. So the net amount that is capitalised, Is 
is the as the 1.3 million dollars that will form part of ppe it's not taken to profit or loss okay uh do just note however if this was a bigger question uh what do we do with those amounts for the one month well what we go through and do is that you would have a finance cost you would have investment income and that would be there based on one twelfth okay so again if we do it based on the thousands like we did before uh one twelfth worth of the borrowings uh is there is it at 500 uh the investment income one twelfth uh, is 70 and what you would find there is that both of those amounts would appear within the statement of profit or loss the amount that is capitalized would appear on the statement of financial position okay Ooh, ah, yeah that's tricky isn't it imagine getting something like that within the exam if you do dead easy Oy! stay clear of it uh that's probably the easiest thing to go through and do uh maybe the easier bit is just to get this bit that we just looked at there in terms of what goes through profit or loss uh look at the period where the strike action whack through the finance costs whack through the investment income into profit or loss and then start playing around with the amounts that then get capitalized other than that if the examiner comes up with something more complicated than that then boy oh boy they've done really well haven't they other than that stick with that and you're not going to go too far wrong